and action. Come on, come on. Even though we're not supposed to talk about it, it looks like we're about to break the first two rules, as the classic we discussed this week is Fight Club. These days, the film is widely considered to be one of the best ever made, but when it was released back in 1999, it sparked quite a lot of controversy. We've heard drug metaphor, we've heard it's about the seeds of fascism, we've heard... Um... I love you, Ed. <laughs> yeah. Despite the film being on most movie buffs' top 10 best pictures list, the studio had no clue how to market it, as it was so different and dark. So it barely made a profit at the box office. Also, it was released a couple of months after the Columbine High School shooting, and any film that contained violence and social criticism at that time faced quite an uphill struggle for viewers. Fortunately, the director and the cast couldn't care less, and the result was one hell of a great motion picture. Finally, something came along and seemed to, uh, to pinpoint uh, uh... Uh, something that I, I know Edward and I, myself certainly recognize. And, yeah, it was, it was actually about something. It was funny, man. It was just so damn funny. It was, about, it was about sort of a generational zeitgeist that I recognized. Uh, uh, the complaints in it were ones that I was familiar with and the people that I knew. And Good. it really put a, it put a name onto some things that I think a lot of us feel but have not been able to say. He's not here. Tyler isn't home. Your boyfriend went away. You understand? He's gone. The title might suggest otherwise, but Fight Club really isn't all that much about fighting. Sure, it's a pivotal plot point, but in the end, it's just a minor part of the bigger picture. However, Edward Norton and Brad Pitt did take lessons in Taekwondo, boxing, and grappling to prepare for their roles. Left jab, right cross, ball. There he goes, that, and then he comes back up. Now, like that. Okay, and then as we come around, boom. One of the more interesting characters from this film is Bob, the guy with the massive breasts. In order to create his impressive physique, actor Meatloaf had to put on a fat suit weighing over 100 pounds. It was filled with birdseed to make it look like sagging flesh. He still remembers well how he felt when he saw Fight Club for the very first time at the movies. Everybody was just standing there, just like, wow. <laughs> and then people started to go, what'd you think? And people were going, I don't know, it's going to take me two days to figure this one out. Fight Club might be 16 years old, but it still doesn't feel outdated. And if you plan on watching it again, here's a fun challenge. There's a cup of coffee hidden in every scene. See if you can spot them all. Ready and action! Go, Sean! Go, 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 go! Touchdown! 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 